the the very clear conflict that happens between uh Gollum and Sam in their like their quest to be Frodo's right hand mm. man it kind of it, it kind of shows the dimensions of Sam a little bit mm-hmm. you know obviously he recognizes Gollum as a threat Frodo just becomes like kind of this passive bag <laughs> yeah it's like he just becomes cargo um Sam is still a bit of a sure. not a traditionalist or not conservative like he has kind of a certain kind of convention around like the Shire like that's yeah. home he wants to go back home he's not interested in like so much of the adventure like he's excited when he sees Oliphants but like yeah like he he gets really nasty with Gollum because of what I don't know Gollum's like, like a threat to their way of life exactly like yeah. and like this is a hobbit gone bad <laughs> yeah literally um, um and and so it's kind of a, a symbolic to like the threat to the Shire. Mm-hmm. Um, Gollum is li- a literal representation of the threat of the ring on the Shire and Hobbiton. And, and I, um, I would argue that like in their dynamic, the innocence like, the, of being the a three Hobbit. of them, Sam is like a, like a, a symbol for the Shire itself. Yeah, exactly. So I it's do kind have... of good that he doesn't become, that Sam doesn't stay this like kind of perfect angel. Like yeah. I kind of like that there's a little bit of depth there and he has, he has kind of his own thing. Yeah. Cause yeah. a lot of times like, and I, I can understand why, but like a lot of times the hobbits get really infantilized. Mm-hmm. And I think this movie, all four of them really firmly show how wrong that is mm-hmm. because you've got like Sam who's willing to defend his home and like mm-hmm. in, in this symbol that is Gollum and then you've got like Merry and Pippin who kind of single-handedly help defeat Sauron by just like, oh no, mm-hmm. I think you should actually go south. Yeah. Uh, he'll never expect that. And yeah. just to make sure that they would like run into yeah. what he kind of suspected being there. Um, and so it, it really proves how integral they are to the war at hand. Yeah. The war that's barely started, but is is gaining traction yeah they're a lot stronger than they look yeah they're hardy yes um but i do kind of want to explore the treatment that Gollum slash smeagol gets in this film Mm -hmm. because this is the one where he for a period of time vanishes Gollum from his his Mm -hmm. consciousness and he just becomes smeagol for a little while um but we are like very clearly to, like presented with two options of how to treat him. You've got like the pity from Frodo mm-hmm. and then the aggression from Sam. And I find it interesting that like, it doesn't really feel like there's a wrong or a right answer to how we're expected to feel about Gollum. Yeah. I don't think the book really fleshes this out. Gollum. I feel like Gollum's more of symbolic of something yeah. it's but he's not a dimensional character yeah i don't think so so i think this was very much li- a liberty that was taken mm-hmm. and i think very well yes and he like Gollum became my favorite part of the movie i mm-hmm. mean um, i loved like Gollum's song at the end um yeah and how it ended just like really like eerie and mysterious and like they're just like <laughs> getting disappearing into the wood and you're like yes <laughs> yeah um was kind of horror horror filmy um which i feel like is very like you were kind of saying like um hobbits are kind of infantilized and i mm-hmm. and i can i can specifically think of moments that would yep suggest that in mm-hmm. frodo and mary and pippin and sam and smeagol like, yes yeah so you get to see this kind of like um this hobbit in him when he's like singing the so juicy sweet and he's just like playing with the fish like mm-hmm. in the water and it's like this really like sweet moment like innocent moment and i love that i i actually hadn't thought about that in terms of like the hobbitness of him mm-hmm. but it makes sense because one of the biggest like songs in the first movie is i can't remember was it frodo dancing on top of the table at the the human the bar pub that they made it to and he's singing his bar song and he's just like hopping and everything it's like that's just like kind of a 
demonized almost version of what the hobbits like to do regularly. Yeah. Singing with their dinner, dancing yeah. a little jig because their bodies can't take it and they like they need to get that out. Yeah, exactly. Like that's what, yeah, no, that's I had never thought about that before, but yeah. Yeah. And he but I, I just feel like he was very much more humanized. Yeah. And they used his hobbitness to do that. Mm-hmm. And I and it and I think it made sense because here here now you're watching Frodo go the other way. And so yeah. it's like this kind of like, you know, and Frodo's going towards what Gollum is. Yeah. And Sam's trying to ground. So there's like that juxtaposition yeah. of like Smeagol kind of like becoming more hobbit like and Sam rejecting that. Yeah. And Sam being the ho- the ho- the symbol of Hobbiton and 